To put off making a game for as long as possible, I've been developing my own game engine, and I wanted to talk about my latest procrastination, water. Beautiful and realistic water will open up a whole new world of game development ideas that I can ignore. The simplest solution is to just add water as a first class citizen to the engine, but even if I made it configurable, it will always be limited by the options provided, and just adding more dials and levers would just become cumbersome. Instead, I want to make the engine flexible enough that anyone can build any water effect they want, be it simple or complex. So there's another small game engine out there, which is just a few features ahead of mine. It's called Unity. Unity has a shader graph, which allows you to visually build out your shader logic. My engine, Iris, has a similar thing, except it's called Render Graph, and it's not visual, so it's code only. C isn't that much easier than writing a shader. The advantage for me is that the render graph compiles down to any of the supported rendering backends, DirectX, OpenGL, Metal, so it's certainly easier than writing three shaders. I added some missing node types, and I ended up with this, a plane where each vertex's position can be controlled by the render graph, and here I've added a sine wave. As realistic as this looks, we can do better. You can throw sine waves at this all day, the problem is this just causes the vertices to go up and down, which isn't really how water works. So instead of going up and down, we actually want to rotate them around a circle. This causes the vertices to bunch up and spread out, and gives us nice peaks and troughs. Shout out to my boy Gerstner for figuring this out in 1804, which was conveniently a few years before I started working on Iris. So now we have nice rolling waves that we can layer. Let's look at visuals. Originally I thought I'd go for photorealism, but I really wanted to try a more stylized approach. So, channeling my inner Wind Waker, I opened up Photoshop and went full art attack on it. I then added a few more node types and layered the textures with some colour to get this. I also added some offsets to the texture lookup to make the water look a bit more... foamy? I slapped in a quick boat from Quartanius, and I was off to sail the one seas. The problem, well one of the many problems, was the flat earth. It was a little bit anticlimactic to come to the edge of the water and then there'd be nothing. Instead of trying to load more water around the player as they move towards the edge, I pulled the old Wind Waker trick, where I connected the boat to the centre of the water, and now, wherever the player moves, the water moves with them, and I can never reach the edge. I then scrolled the texture on top to give the illusion of movement. Also like Wind Waker, I experimented with darkening and lowering the objects at a distance, to give the illusion of a horizon. Finally, I added an island, some post-processing effects, some fog to break up the horizon, and I made the boat go up and down with the waves, which only occasionally drowns everyone on board. After that, there was nothing left to do but for me to put on some royalty-free music and sail around. This could actually be the start of a game, so let me know in the comments below where you think I could take this. And if you enjoy me talking about games, engines and programming, then consider subscribing. Thanks!